Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Ward's adventure in Factorio. So what's happening today? Well, I'm going to build this rail and build our station. And I'm also going to take out this biter base, excuse me, here. So that way we can tap into all this oil and create some storage tanks and whatnot. So I'm just going to run over this way. Well, fuck it. And it's going to be nighttime too. That sucks. Man, that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to put these in here. And we're going to carve out some trees down to the biters here until they come attacking. I think that's the strategy. We'll do our usual strategy of a block of lasers. And we'll do the laser creep. Is what I think it's referred to as. Let's get them attacking here. And basically what is occurring is we're creeping up closer, placing these lasers down. I can probably remove these guys up here since we don't have very many lasers. And this is where power consumption goes just totally on the fritz because I think it uses a lot of power for each one to shoot. But it, it, the power never seems to drop down, right? So if I do... Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't let you... It probably doesn't keep the information from when I update. Yeah, so yeah, so as you can see here with the production, we still have lots of production capability. It kind of uses these, but then... Oh, there's a big guy. See him? It kind of uses the accumulators... But then, you know, it never really goes down. So we got lots of power for that. And if we go 10 minutes. Oh, there they're coming, they're coming. Oot, 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 die. Okay, let's do the next block. And just keep advancing until we get close enough. Now the wood, what I use the wood for is I use it for fuel the trains. I think I've mentioned that before. I keep repeating that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, because it's it's such a cool thing. Like you know, people, I see people they they shoot through the trees with their shotguns, which is a good way of using ammo, by the way. Uh, but I like to actually keep every scrap of it because of my you know, hoarding self. <laughs> Since I like to be a pack rat. Uh, I keep all that stuff and I use it because, you know, why waste it? Like, I don't see why people would throw it away. <laughs> but I guess because it's so abundant and it's everywhere. But is that really the right mentality to use in that situation, right? You know, maybe we should be more conservative of our resources and use every bit that we take from the planet. It makes sense, right? <laughs> it's not only me. So yeah, so I've learned a lot through this whole Let's Play that I've been doing. Well, or Let's Learn, I should say, series that I've been doing. It's It's been tricky. It's been fun. I've definitely learned some strategies for the game. I've also been kind of watching some PvP battles just to see how people do PvP in this game. And it's kind of interesting, that's for sure. It seems you kind of fun. Since it's the same kind of thing, you go, you build a base, and, and then you just go and, and attack each other. There's some cool mods that have been designed with that in mind, which is kind of cool. And kudos to all those who've done the mods. Uh, on the Factorio forums, you'll find, you know, a lot of the stuff like the mods and the people who've built the mods, and yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see that side of the community. Um, I've been a tiny bit active on the Factorio forums, not much though, just because it's a lot of, it's it's time consuming, oh hey I took these out, I'm not even paying attention, now these you can just run over, you don't have to pick them up, that's in one of the new updates, and there we go, there goes those biters, those biters are taken care of, which actually wasn't too bad, I thought it was a lot worse, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Okay, let's make sure we pick everything up here. Don't want to leave 
any of these these lasers lying around because they are somewhat expensive. I'm going to pick up the lights because we don't need lights down here. Power poles I'm going to leave because I always leave those behind in case I ever need to rebuild. And so here we have our deposits. So let's chop some trees down here. Just want to clear up some space. See what we're working with. I think I should make some of these. Two, three, four, five. I need more pipes. Shoot, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's okay. Well, they'll craft while I I go along. Okay, so I think that's it to these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and now I need some tanks. One, two, three, four tanks should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy crap, that's a lot of oil. Um, 159, 230, 187, 111, 167, 182. We're going to have to go back and get some pipes, unfortunately, guys. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so hard. So... I think what we'll do is we'll place the pump jacks here, maybe facing that that way. Let's see here. Let's see, kind of, yeah, maybe all facing in this general direction, going to tanks. Uh, maybe I'll put the tanks right here, which I'm waiting to craft. So let's go. To our train here let's build more of these tracks so I had plans for the train to come in stop right in here and then make start making a turn so the tanks will be here and then the oil will come down this way and we'll get loaded on here and then what we'll do is then we'll turn the train around so let's chop some trees up here Okay, I want to turn the train around. Let's chop some more trees up. Perfect. Okay, and we just basically going to create a loop so that way the train can get back to facing the right direction. Uh, let's see here. There we go, that one. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Okay, that one, and I think I'm going to make it go a little bit straight here, since we need that. Let's do some straight, let's, let's pop in some more of this stuff. Okay, and let's go this way, a couple, and then we can start curving it back in. Oh man, I love this train stuff, it's so much fun. It reminds me of like train sets as I was growing up uh, there's you know, there would be these hobby stores with these cool kind of trains all set up and I always looked at those trains and you know, wanting those trains and oh man those trains would be so much fun I was thinking and so here within Factorio we already got that <laughs> which satisfies that urge and we get to play with trains what more fun can you have oh okay. I did that in the wrong spot what more fun can you have, you know? So let's see here. I'm kind of keeping track of the time, and I don't know if I looked at the right time. If it's already been 20 minutes, that can't be. Can it be? I'm just, I'll be right back. I'm going to check. Okay, I'm back. So, no, it was only 10 minutes, around 10 minutes. So my bad on that. Pardon me. <laughs> so now what I need to build is I need to build stations to train stops here I don't think I have these automated yet I should have them automated I should have a stack of each so I tell you what let's go back to the main base and we'll check it out here since we got about 20 minutes because I want to do the video for about a half an hour let's run back this way grab our train which is right here beautiful and let's boogie I'm just pushing up, and this should take us, yeah, okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to have to turn, I, I, I'm going to have to push, I think, right, 
yeah okay whoa okay I'm gonna right right and right here oh stop stop I didn't st no 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 see oh man those are terrible okay here we go oops I hit T I want enter to get out okay so let's grab these these will go into here since we're constructing that area okay so right here what I have set up is the first cart is gonna hold all the oil barrels and then they're going to get offloaded into these buffer boxes which then are gonna go into here to unload into empty and so then the oil will get dumped into here and then the empty barrels will move along get picked up and then load it up and then on the next stop what's gonna happen is the is these will get unloaded and then these will get loaded and we'll just have enough in the system to do that this is the train system here so I've I've done I wouldn't say changes but I'm I've been using the resources so this is why one side is loaded up for whatever reason it's because the one side seems to be going down but overall whether one side's backed up or versus the other doesn't really matter because it, it seems to work either way. So let's go grab uh, 40. I got 42 turns. So let's go down here to the turn. This is where the turns are located. Let's make sure we got a stack of 40 or, or 50. Sorry. I could probably grab more straight rail, but I think we have enough. Let's go past our fracking. Let's go check out where this is going. So this goes up. Our old smelting system was through here. I could probably remove a couple of these. Okay. Do I need this here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that there. That powers those things. Powers the light. Do we have gears? Let's grab some gears. So hundred another stack a hundred okay uh, let's grab a hundred of these copper plates let's grab some of these steel plates here okay I got a bunch of those modules or not modules but these alien artifacts here so let's dump those in because that's for purple research and then the blue research I think is being used currently but we don't have any advanced circuits if you notice here because I think they're being snagged into this thing and then this thing is creating more of these guys so if we grab those 12 we can put those somewhere probably okay and we can put more bullets here so let's one two three four let's grab the, all those bullets since we could use those. Now I was going to set up some crafting. Uh, what do we need to craft? Oh, I need, I need pipes. That's over here. So pipe, pipe, pipes. Where are you? Did I use them? I don't think. No, I should have one pipe. No, no, I guess I used them all up. So let's grab those pipes. We got the underground pipes. I think we got these already being built. Uh, let's take a look up here. These are all these these red things being stored up. Uh, let's see. I think what we can do with these guys, maybe what we'll do is let's pick these up here in this side of the belt. Okay. So I'm going to exchange these out so we have a full complement. Let's put these extra power poles there, and then let's switch out these. Okay. Uh, there's some more extra power poles because <laughs> we only need the 50 just in case we got these power poles there's not very many of those and then of course we want to make sure we got a full stack of those okay so just kind of looking through this here to see what we've got any more fish here I don't know if the fish reproduce they don't look like they do Okay, now for crafting purposes, I want to craft these things, which are I need iron plate, steel plate, and circuits. Iron plate, 
So iron plate. There's no steel here. Circuits. So these three I need. Maybe I can set it up right here. Maybe that won't matter so much. So. Oh, I didn't want to craft those. Oh well. So I want it. I want. I want iron plates. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I think I can get two, and then I have to get that one. I think. Let's. Okay. So if I do this like this. Yeah, shit, it's not going to work. Okay. Okay, so I need these guys. So basically, these guys can come in. Okay. Okay. Then I need to underground belt this probably. Yeah, underground belt like that. Which then means this belt can go up. I'm just thinking here out loud, so don't mind me. The steel will not come into play yet. So let's put this belt like this so it splits, alright? And then we're going to go up like this. I think it's going to look ugly, but I don't care. So basically what we need to do... So we need to combine this, right? So we got this side, this side, and we need to combine it up. So we got the both on the one belt. So we know that each of these both need electronic circuits and iron plates. It's just the steel plates for the train stops, right? So hopefully I put this in a good spacing. Uh, let's put that down. Let's build... See, do these have units? Oh, they do have units. Okay. So let's build some of these assembly assembly machines. I just need a couple of them because that's all we're doing. I can probably just even do it just straight from here. Maybe like this. One, two. Maybe like that. And then we can put a couple into boxes. Maybe like like this and like that probably. Let's make a couple steel boxes. One, two. Like go there and there. We can of course limit down to one. Limit down to one. Okay. This one here we want to build oh electronic circuits, hey. So if I do that. steel plates right electronic circuit and iron plate which is they're the, both of these so if I do rail signal and we can put in those okay this one we want to put train stop and it needs an extra ingredient right it's no problem so we'll move this belt up like so so that way we got that I need to dump off these red assembly things where are we since there's no research coming through we need to basically dump these into here and now these should be unmolested should probably put some in there too let's grab half put them in there because these are almost done so that's good okay so now these will go into the research which will move the the turret shooting speed and then I'll probably let the research build up uh, let's see here yeah now these are running out but that's okay and now I need to, I need to bring the steel up so how are we going to do that let's do that let's bring this down this way okay let's do one more belt and then these guys will 
have to do two sets underground belts, which is fine. Do a set here. And then we'll have to do another set here. That might work actually. So what we'll do is we'll put splitter there. Put this underground belt here. And then we can put more belts on this line. Okay. Oop. Okay, good, 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 good. And then we can continue this line, and then we can turn this line up. One more, curve it, and then we bring it up. Just like that, bang, okay. And then we do this. Now we can power this all up, I hope. Yes, we can, I think. Oh, really? Fuck. Okay, that's fine. And this is where we use the old poles just to connect up something that sh should connect but doesn't. And let's put power. Let's put a light right here. Bang! So now this should be all functioning as expected. Uh, let's see here. Circuits. Yeah, okay, so probably what we'll need is fast inserters. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what we need. Since it's operating, let's see, 32. It's, it's considerably more consumption, but it does the trick. See now we got some stops here. We actually only need one stop. And we got a couple rail signals. Maybe we could grab a few more of those. Okay, perfect. There we go. So we got that set up. Right off our, our main bus here. And as you can see the steel is being created as fast. Well, sort of as fast as it can be. There's not enough steel coming through this way for some reason. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's it's going it's going as fast as it can, it looks like. Alright, like that's being consumed and this is coming in. It's coming into storage. How full are these storages? 2.4, 2.4, 2.4. Yeah, so this is all f almost full. It's being loaded up into here, basically, into these two end chests. A lot of it is getting through. Yeah, well, it's being it's being harvested. It's being used. Let's see. Let's check out these miners here. We can see some oh, 2.3 still, 3.25, so those still have life in them. I know here what's going to happen is it's going to become unbalanced, but that's okay. And we got here, which is a storage system I created, and this is all completely full of copper. Unbelievable just how much copper we've got. Even here, even these chests are, where are they? See, even these chests are filling up slowly. Yeah, there's some empty ones, but man. Okay, so we got that functioning. Train's going. Didn't quite unload everything. Now let's get into this thing. Enter. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's put that rail stop in. I'm just kind of controlling the speed here. Okay, so the stop will go in about here. So let's back up a bit. Okay. And now we can place this guy. I think that's on the right side, right? Yeah, on the right side. Put him there. We're gonna call this oil deposit one. Okay. Bang. So it's renamed. Go into this train. 
we add oil deposit one. Let's see here. So if we hit okay. now, we need to oh, we need to put rail signals. I should have done that as we went along. Crap. That's okay. We put we put a signal here, and then we put a signal here on the right hand side. So that way, only trains go in the one direction, not the other. Yeah, we'll get that uh, signal on the way back. We need to put a signal at the start of this whole stretch. So that way, if there's a train here, no trains come. So, if we go into this here, drop that. Let's go oil deposit one and run the train. I think it's going to oil, uh, to oil depot. So let's see what it does here. Well, it doesn't slow down on those curves. That's good. Now uh, there's a train in. Now oh, I see what it's doing. Now oh, it's waiting. That's cool, hey? So you'll be waiting for quite a while. I think it's set to 90 seconds on that one. And I think we're almost up with time. So we'll finish off this little bit here with the train. And we'll see where we end up here with the end of this. Let's just let that, but see as that system goes, it's still super loaded the copper and I don't know how to increase that. I might have to increase the smelting, but it's not the copper that's slowing me down, it's the iron. And it always seems to be the iron. It, it always seems to me that you need more iron than you do copper, which is very, very, very interesting. There's lots of storage there with the copper or with the, the iron, but eventually there's a chest on the end that it all goes into is kind of like an overflow that's why i got the smart inserters there so that way they're smart <laughs> and they all just have a filter on it and if it if it's this item i'll i'll take it and that's kind of how we do each side there so it only takes the resources it needs and i i've never had an issue with it i've never had it get jammed up or anything like that so it seems to work for now anyways until i decide to change it but yeah it I felt it it does the trick and it's it's almost symmetrical <laughs> there we go the trains leaving and as soon as that leaves the my train will be able to go yeah I don't mind with it waiting there that's okay okay here we go and then basically go to all the boom okay we're going to go to oil deposit one yeah okay it's working as I want I don't think I need to put any more rails or signals. I might have to put one signal on this track, which I don't have. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we stop the train. Oh, shit. Crap. Okay, I don't need to have fuel here, but we do want to set up. So this will have... This is where we're going to load our barrels. Okay, so we want to do fast inserters. We could probably do regular inserters. Let's do regular ones. One, two, and these are going to be the unloading. One, two. Okay, and always, I always do my buffer system. Doesn't matter where, because I think it's a good idea. Why not? I haven't really watched other people use this method. Well, sort of, kind of, but not really. <laughs> okay, so these ones will get loaded. And these ones will get unloaded. So basically now what's going to happen is we have oil that's going to come. Let's see here. Where do we want the oil to be stashed? Maybe we'll have a pipe that goes straight out from here. Oh, come on. Maybe something like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we need to put more pump jacks down. I did build a bunch of them. Here we go. Hopefully I got enough. Uh, we can put one there, 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 there. Wow. Wow. Crazy, use them all up. Okay, so now since we got 
we also have these these pumps. Now I figured out how to use the pumps. They're really cool and they speed up everything. And so what does that mean? That means let's see here. We need to connect these with pipes. Okay, and there's a main pipe. It's gonna come from this way to here. So let's put two in there. And then we can go let's see here. This pipe to here. This pipe to I think here as well. Okay, and then we can put a piece here, a piece here. Might as well put one piece there. Okay, I can do a piece like that because I think we can walk through that. Yeah, that's a waste. Let's do regular pipes. Okay, so that's connected, right? One, two, three. And then we want to do the same idea with these guys. Okay, and then we got something here going on. Oh, you can't do that anymore. Well, that's cool, huh? Okay, so this will have to reposition. Uh, auto save. I'll put that out there. Oh man, brutal. Okay, well, maybe we'll go down and that's what we'll do down and then from here we'll yeah I'll finish with this and with with ending of this right uh, and I don't want this here because I need to want the pipe to go from here oh man really brutal just brutal uh, get rid of that Do I see a wire? Oh man, that sucks. So let's see how this pipe goes again. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, can I go anymore? No, okay. Bang. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so now, basically what I want to do is I want to put in a pump somewhere, right? If we know that this is the main part of our system we can kind of do this so that arrow points I think which way the pump is going to go so if I do that and then we do this I think I think that's how we do it if you can see the direction I hope it's right uh, but it does need power so let's do a tiny pole here yeah I think that works okay good we can put light here uh, train still here good okay now this pipe situation well let's connect these guys up okay uh, let's go that let's go that and that okay and then you want to do this this, that, okay, and then we just want to, oh, I'm asking to be ugly, but whatever, okay, so that's all connected, so we just need to get this into this pipe, so, <clears throat> what's the best way for that, do that, I can't do that, so we'll have to bring it, I think we can bring it down, right? So what we'll do is we'll go backwards. Okay, yeah, yeah I think this will be able to do it like that. And then we just put three pipes in. One, two, three, bang, okay. I think these are all connected now. So now we need to do power. Uh, substation does a huge area. I think we can get most of them. Yeah, okay, so we'll put that one there. 
We'll put this guy here. Is it here? Come on. Here. And then we'll connect it up with the power. Where where are we gonna do it? I think like this. Maybe. Huh. Let's do a couple of these poles. One. There we go. That pole fit right there. See how they're all going into the tanks now? And really quick, it's because of this guy. This guy pumps the crude through these pipes, pushes it into here, essentially. And that's the whole idea of all this, right? So now let's put in a light. Oh, I want to finish this for all of you, so please bear with me. Please bear with me. I've been going over. It, everything takes so long in factorial. So now with these tanks, what we do is there's an assembler. Okay. Now, uh, do we want to put the assembler right here? Maybe let's put it right here. Uh, then we want to go to where our barrels are, and here we fill a crude barrel, right? Let's put those in. Okay, and so basically what's going to happen is you're going to have these things that are going to come up and they're going to be the empty barrels. They're going to get loaded up, right? Okay. And then the full barrels, uh, we just need a regular one, will get unloaded. Oops. And like this, just like the other side. Just like that. So they're gonna get unload they're gonna get unloaded. They're gonna come in here. Go into here. Uh let's do a substation since we got those. It's gonna power the whole area. And then we can give light. Okay, and now we can connect in the oil. So we do that. Let's do it from this end here. Like, uh, let's do like that, and then one, two. Okay, so now we need to power this. So let's see here. And now it's powered, right? Now we just need some oil barrels. So how do we make them? Well, they use steel plates, right? Uh, I'm gonna need to make a system for this. So, if we hop onto our fancy dancy train, run, and go to the oil depot. We're gonna create a system to quickly create those, and then we're gonna call an episode. Ah, oh, man, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's a long one. It always takes so long. I'm thinking of kind of doing sh uh, you know, like a recording session. And so anyways, so if we hop out of here, we'll let it run, do its thing. So here the oil is going to get stored. Yeah, I don't know. So let's run up here. Where is those steel? Oh, it's everything's being used being crafted so it's not like it's I wonder if this would speed things up let's see here let's put these okay I'm just trying to replace all of these guys not sure if that will speed anything up uh, I'm out Okay, let's put these guys in here. Yeah, well, it's it's doing its thing. It's processing. So what I want to do is all these steel plates here. They're, they are backed up, which is interesting. So the one side has to produce more. Ah, it'll work out. It'll work out. The steels might not be the most efficient, I think. I think it's very inefficient actually 
Now, as I look at the design, but I was working with a limited space capacity. So, let's see, what do we need? We need, so we need barrels, so we just need these steel, steel here. I'm just seeing if uh, there's steel here. So maybe we can put the barrels in here. Yeah, it's adding more convolution to this place, but I don't need, so for example, if I do that, so if we bring, I mean, we need more belts. Okay, so belts, belts, belts. Okay, we got that. And there's more inserters that we need, which are way over here. Definitely going to have to redesign. So see, these are going to stop producing. Definitely going to have to redesign this stuff. So we got these inserters here. Okay. Uh, do we need the long-handed ones? There's the box right here. Okay, we do need those. Okay, so that should satisfy anything. Okay, let's run back down here. Okay, so now I can even use a long uh, to hell with it. We'll just bring it over. We'll do that and then we'll want to do that like that. Okay, and then we want to do, where's the belt? I did pick up a stack of belts, and I just, there we go, right here. Okay, so that steel is going to come in, and we're going to craft barrels, barrels, here we go, these guys. Put modules in, it only does three, so we obviously need to create a box. Let's put this like this. Okay, and we need a light down here since we don't have one. It's pretty dark. Okay, and let's put in a chest and let's regulate the chest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm going to just try with 10 barrels and we're going to see what it looks like. Let's run down to our train system here. How's this stuff doing? That's ah, it's doing. Oh, ooh, okay. Well, I don't have so this cracking we can stop. So that way you can accumulate. Run down here. I do have the barrels with me, so basically, in theory, the barrels would be on here. Nine. I thought I had ten. Weird. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, let's craft another barrel. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we got ten here. I think that's this train. I come up here. It's gonna stop. Okay, so that did the trick. Well, now there's 11 in there. So there's a bug there somewhere. Weird. Oh, because it was in the arm. Do silly me. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for the train to advance. I think I'm in it. I should be in it. Come on. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I already have signals on this rail up there, so it's good. So as you can see, what's going to happen? Train's going to come, stop. I'm going to have to increase the time here, I think. Oh yeah, definitely going to have to increase the time. And let's put it to uh, 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half. And see, it's being loaded essentially. Gonna hop out of this. Oh wow, that's filling up quite faster than I expected it. But I guess when that stops, then all of these will stop. 
Let's do the modules. And there's one pump not working. I don't understand that. Like, why only certain ones work while other ones don't? There we go. Like this one. See, it's not working at all. But watch. See, I did this. I did that. Oh! You know what? I don't need that there. That's. There we go. Bang. Now they're all operating. And then this train, when it goes back, so if we go to Oil Depot, go to Station. So yeah, so there we go, everybody. This is our train system. Thank you for watching. I, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I apologize for it taking so long, but there's just a lot to go through and kind of the whole process that I do when I play Factorio. And this is why you can spend hours and hours and hours doing this game. And I need to change the time on this one to 90 as well. Might even increase it higher, but for now we'll do 90. I'm going to grab more containers from up top there. But yeah, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. So I appreciate you watching and you taking the time to watch. Now, thank you and you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.